Bro, do Benny Hanna. Do switch Benny Hanna. Hey, we're going to the skate park. We made it. Hey guys, my name's Casey Wood. This is Big Deck Energy. Today we're checking out Plainville Skate Park in Plainville, Georgia. And uh, we're gonna do a review. So let's go check out the park. Ha ha ha. Hi Big Deck Energy. I don't know if you can tell by these transitions, but the way the concrete's laid, you can tell someone really took their time doing the work. This is some of the smoothest transition I've ever skated. And the coping here, it's laid in a little lower than most copings at most parks I've skated, but I think that makes it a little better because honestly, it just, you don't have so much of a bump up into the coping. You can just have a nice smooth grind into it really. Just really roll up into it, get just a slight bump. Not something that's so jarring that it messes up your foot placement or anything. But it really makes it so you can smoothly grind on the transition, get into stalls easier, and makes for nice air. So this vert wall here is super fun. I love the speed you get pumping off of that hump and coming up to this thing. Uh, just feels amazing. You can see some people have slapped a few stickers up there, but I have yet to see anybody actually get up on the lift. If anybody ever skates this park and gets a slash, a rock, anything on there, please send me that video. I want to see it so bad. So if you can't tell uh, behind me, I'm gonna assume this is supposed to be a bowl later on. The park's not fully complete. You can see all around that there's parts of it that they're still working on clearly. Um, but I think once it comes together, this is gonna be probably the most amazing park in the area. It's definitely my favorite already. 
but uh, I really can't wait to see what comes out of it when it's finished. Alright, we made it over here to the street section. Now, I've skated this park about 10 times now, and every time somebody's here, people complain about the street section. And it's not that it's bad or anything, it's just incomplete. As you can see, there's no real way to get enough speed to hit the rail or go over the box comfortably. I've seen it done, I've done a couple of tricks on it myself, but you just don't have any real flow here. I decided to go back for one more day of filming. My camera died on the first day, and I really had a couple of ledge tricks I wanted to try, but I had no idea how much of a battle I was in for. I love this park. Good night. Bye, everyone. Say bye, Benny. Well, that's it. I hope you guys liked the footage of the park. This really is quickly becoming my favorite park around here. You can tell just by the detail of how smooth the concrete is, the angle that everything's been laid at and just how well everything grinds. The people that worked on this park are definitely skaters or at least know how to work on skateboard ramps. They've definitely done it before. Yeah, for me the park's gonna be a solid 4.5 out of 5. And the only reason I'm not giving it a full 5 is because it's not complete yet. So hopefully when it does get complete I can go ahead and give you guys another video. But that's gonna be it for me. It is very late, and I am ready for bed. Big deck out. You know, do like eight, nine kickflips in a session. Do them downstairs. Do some everywhere. Do a kickflip, man. It's pretty cool.